Ion NPI, new product introduction brought to you by DigiKey. The DigiKey Retech is the company lead data. What is the new product of the week this week? Okay, this week, I'm actually psyched when I saw this show up on digikey.com slash new because I was like, oh my God, I know this thing so well. And people are always asking me if DigiKey stocks this item. And so now I can say, yes, they do. Um, so I'm talking about the Retech MDBT40. Right. Sorry, uh, MDBT. MDBT50 series of modules. These contain an NRF52840 in a lovely um, tinned module with antenna options. And you can even see it's got pre certifications for FCC, IC, uh, CMMIT. So, you know, if you're looking to add um, the Nordic NRF52840 to your boards, uh, this could be a really good option. This is what I use. So I personally recommend it. The NR52840 is a Cortex M4, one megabyte flash, 256K RAM, ultra powerful, but ultra, ultra low power, Bluetooth low energy uh, five processor all in one from Nordic. I think it's the, you know, their best chip to date. I mean, though, could make, make no, new chips and those will be better. But this was really definitely my favorite because it had that Cortex M4, super powerful, Great Bluetooth low energy, great low power, um, excellent SDK support, tons of flash, tons of RAM, like a real powerhouse, uh, but also had native USB. Uh, also their easy DMA, which I think is great. Only one downside is um, the chip comes in this package, which is like not BGA, it's not QFN, it's like kind of somewhere in the middle. And you see there's a big ground plane in the center and then there's all these like dot pads and one of the challenges is is like how do you get to that inner row of pads because you, you know you need um blind vias or like plugged vias or you would need very very small traces to make in between the outer row of dots it's kind of challenging um on the circuit playground blue fruit which is the only board we make where we actually use the bare chip you see what i, I did a little bit of a hack where i used um, vias on the inside, and then I made the ground pad smaller and covered it with mask. But honestly, this isn't recommended, and, and there is yield failure sometimes if the mask uh, is too thin and, um, you know, the via contact comes through and, and can short to ground. So, you know, it works fairly well, but it's not the best solution. And also, you know, you still have to do the antenna tuning and you need all these passives. And um, honestly, you know, if you can spare the space on the circuit playground blue fruit i can't but on other boards i can i recommend going with the mdbt50 because again i use it it's a great module um it's fairly small 15 and a half by 10 and a half millimeters um it does have a bunch of pads in the middle but you see that there's lots of space inside for vias or for routing the traces through you can route the traces through i think with a six six mil rule it's like not a big deal at all um you get all the pads brought out which is nice and all of them are are kept and it's um got a tin to protect all the components you know here's an example layout you know uh, with the circuit playground blue fruit you can kind of barely get away again if you do that hack i think i got away with the two layer board but i think i had to go down to five five mil rule with the module you can stick to seven or eight mil uh seven or eight you know um space and trace with which is definitely within the budget of any project or pcb house like you don't have to go four layer if you don't want to um you don't have to do any funky via stuff um and you can see like all the traces come out quite nicely and they're all grouped um in a logical way so at the bottom there's the q spy flash all those pins are right next to each other which is kind of nice and that's what it looks like so you know i think we released our first board with this module in 2019 um and it's been popular so maybe maybe 2018 i think 2019 seems late i think it must have been um before then but uh, the chip came out in 2017 so probably 2018 is when the module came out and then we made a feather express with it it's very popular especially with the native usb supported by arduino and circuit python um we also have that followed that up with the clue board which has that same module on the top left uh and you can see it supports a lot of hardware we have the USB and the SPI flash, tons of sensors, capacitive touch, PLBM for piezo, TFT display buttons. I mean, it's a very nice processor. It can run your main application while also doing 
the Bluetooth Low Energy uh, soft device. Uh, it's also fairly compact. Um, you can see it here on an itsy bitsy board, uh, very small board, I think, uh, you know, 0.6 millimeter, 0.6 inches between the two rows of headers. Comes in a couple different configurations. So the one I like, which you saw before, was one with the chip antenna, but there's also a version with a trace antenna, although it has slightly like half a dB less uh, gain. And then um, I don't use, but I've seen other people use, and it's great if you want external antenna or just you know an antenna placed somewhere else in the enclosure because maybe where the board is is uh, got some metal that could be in the way is the UFL um, antenna version. So you just use a 2.4 gigahertz antenna and you're good to go. And uh, DigiKey now stocks them. They're in stock. They're available at a great price uh, for eight bucks. That's pretty much the cost of the components if you were to get an NR52840 and all the pieces. And you don't have to do the antenna tuning and you get the benefit of having um, the module pre-certified. So uh, this is my personal pick. I love this module. I've used it a ton. Um, I deeply recommend it. Always had a really good yields with it. Uh, I love the Ray Tech modules. That's the, the NPI of the week this week. Hi on NPI.